Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Eastern Cape province of South Africa. We're in Amakala Game Reserve and we've sighted our sunset safari with a very cute little yellow mongoose that is pretending to be a meerkat. <laughs> it's one of the most relaxed yellow mongooses I think I have ever seen on Amakala. Usually they just run away. This one's sticking around. My name is Tess for Hunt Cameras Morgan. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I hope you like the little things because wow, this thing is cute. We had a very big morning this morning with all of the cheats having action. Now we're going full tilt on the opposite scale to a little yellow mongoose all on its own. I don't know what it is, but we've hit the jackpot recently. <laughs> we are sitting for the first time below eye level or just at eye level of the three male cheetahs they're up on a bank on the side of one of the roads and they have moved quite far from where they were this morning i'm impressed but i'm very happy because it means that they are outrunning the lions incredibly successfully so far and uh, that is good news <laughs> now it looks like they are literally just enjoying the sun they're soaking it in all three of them are lying flat 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 up on the bank not even bothering to look for shade at this point. They've chosen the most open spot they could. And it's funny because there's lots of shade around if they chose that they wanted shade. But it seems the sun is much more inviting. Look at that. Three flat, flat, flat cheetahs. Aren't they amazing? <laughs> I'm hoping one of them decides to lift the head just now just to kind of say hello but if they choose to sleep instead that's fine too we're just very lucky to be spending time with them so early on oh there you go it's like you hear me about saying <laughs> So we just got to Treehouse Dam, we just did a little bit of a loop and look what we have here at the dam. At Treehouse Dam we've got some beautiful elephants, a nice herd of elephants coming down for a drink or some of them are already having a drink. There's another big female that's approaching the water. A couple of uh, youngsters to the right. Mm, as you can see she is gorgeous coming down there and then of course we've got another two on the opposite side. Two young ones there as well, having a good afternoon a drink. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, as elephants always need to come down to these water water holes, to these dams and pans. Oh, get off! Oh, get off! Oh, get off! So she's having a little bit of communication between them. Might be the matriarch. She looks like the oldest one. Usually, if you're looking at like a family like this now, I heard um, it's usually like not really the largest one. It's usually the oldest, the most experienced female. She will be, of course, the one that will be leading them to these kind of water holes. <laughs> and she's just sucking some of that water up and chucking it to the side. Doesn't want to drink really that old water that's lying on top and all the sediment. I mean, at the bottom. Suck it just from the top layer and get all the nice clean water from the top. It looks like her trunk is a little bit short, don't you think so? Does it hurt? It looks like, like, the, like the end part doesn't look really. Yeah, looks like she's got a missing tip. We're watching this beautiful elephant bull here. Just look at him. So it's been interesting to watch the way he's been feeding. Most of the time, you know, they break branches and they put it in the mouth and so on. But for the last few moments, we've been watching him putting the vegetation um, straight into his mouth and then biting it off the plant. And this is where, you know, sometimes you'll come driving around on the roads on Madikwe and you find the, say, a bush that's got a lot of the ends of the branches you can see have been snipped away but are are very brush like so a lot of bristly sort of action um looks like little brushes at the end of the the plants then you know that an elephant has been feeding in that such manner they've just been putting the plant straight in its mouth and then you know 
batting it down. As opposed to breaking the branch off, putting it inside the mouth, and then chewing it that way, just rather biting straight off the plant. Not so much now, so they do a bit of both sometimes. He's really enjoying it. Looks like a, a young sweet thorn here. We're right here by the dam, so of course these elephants have come either to drink water or, or, or they, they, they're on their way to drinking water or they've just come from the water but stopping to feed along the way. Yes, I got a, I got a leopard, a female leopard here on Balanites on one of the roads here as I came in here and came past this termite mound. Looks like we got Shadulu. It looks like Shadulu to me. We just just found her. Oh my word. I am so, so happy. And yeah, uh, it is. We are losing a bit of light now. But yeah, yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah, it is Shadulu. Is it? Looks like it. Oh, so a female leopard this time. But it's very small. So it's very young. I I'm, just, I'm struggling to think it is Shadulu. But we are pretty much on the western side of uh, of uh, Juma. All right, so look at this. Shadulu's just standing up now. But she's got a bit of an injury on the front left leg here. You can just see she's got like a little bit of a, a wound on her left leg. But I'm not too sure what happened to her. Um, but it doesn't look too serious. It looks like, ooh, a bit of a, a flesh wound there. It doesn't look too great. Now, I'm not too sure, but she keeps on looking back that side. She's still sitting on top of this termite mound. And she's just keeping an eye on something. Of course, she has got a young cub of about seven months old. So, some a cub that we haven't seen yet. Well, I think Steve saw her quite a few months ago. But on another property, but quite a, in quite a distance. Um, so, but yeah, that's... I'm hoping that uh, that youngster might be here with her. But I'm just going to keep my eyes open here. She's got blood on her neck as well, eh? Yo, what's what's happened? Yeah. But sure, I don't know. I don't know when last I've seen she did for quite some time. And she's showing interest in something. No, Tannin doesn't look like it was another like predator against predator. That looks more like a tusk or something that uh, kind of hooked her on the side there, you know. Um, if it's predator, you'll find more injuries around the face, the neck area, not on the leg like that. I think that on the leg like that, now it's more to do with uh, um, maybe like a, a warthog tusk to me. That's where my... Okay, I'm just leaning to the side, so I'm not in the way. Us there. It was wonderful seeing that old Shadulu once again. I think it is, uh, as always, it is a beautiful female that. And uh, we all try, I to myself, for trying to work out when last uh, we've actually seen that female. And uh, last time we saw her, for me, I know, was about seven, eight months. I don't think I've seen Shadulu after she had a cub. I haven't seen her once after she had a cub, so it just shows you, and same as Chat, so it was just as special for us. But yes, uh, once again, I just want to say thank you to everybody for joining us on our uh, Sunset uh, Safari. Uh, thank you so much for all your comments and your questions that you have sent through to us uh, this afternoon. Hopefully that we could answer as many questions as possible. But please make sure that you do join us once again on our sunrise safari tomorrow morning. I think it's going to be a beautiful morning. Um, I see that the stars are out. Well, for Lauren, I think she's sitting under some cloud. i not sure what cloud. But the stars are out full on now. And uh, I think tomorrow morning it's going to be fresh. It's going to be crisp. And we are going to get once again some fantastic, fantastic sightings. So once again, from the Wild Earth team, I want to say good night to everybody and thanks so much.